morning sir yeah good morning so what your name karimulla chukata sir so karimulla so can i call you karimulla yeah sir okay i will call you simply karim okay sir are you okay yeah okay so the name is okay karim sir so introduce yourself first of all i like to thank you to introduce myself sir my good name is karimulla chukata i was born and brought up in nalagata which is located in andhra pradesh currently i am living in elara diguda hyderabad I have recently completed recently completed my graduate from the College of Ananta Degree College with the percentage of eighty percent. And my I have technical skills. I have good knowledge in Python, MySQL, HTML, CSS. My hobbies are playing cricket, watching mythology videos, listening music. And my short term goal is to get a job in. Where I utilize my skills to a reputed company like yours, sir. My long-term goal is to get a good position in your company, sir. And I have a one project in my final year degree, sir. That's all about myself. Okay, so you have you are from the degree background, right? Yes. Okay, good. So I mean, uh, degree which stream? BSc Computer, sir. So BSc Computers. Okay, good. So you said uh, you have a project or your uh, on your third year of the graduation, yes, sir. So what is the name of the project? Name yeah, means it's uh, HTML using to link in the Google, sir, for college yes. website. So have you created an interface or it? Yes, sir. Okay. So can you explain me about your project? Yes, sir. Yes. Actually, in graduate degree, there is no project, sir. And but uh, I have a thought about sir. The thought about it. It means uh, to create a college website and to link in the Google, sir. That time I don't idea, sir. And I, I can call four members to with my friends, sir. And I, I am the team leader. And I, I prefer to watch video videos in Google, YouTube, sir. And finally, I can prefer some particular elements. It, it take learn HTML, CSS, sir. And finally, we completed site website. And that time we link in the Google. We need a web hoster. We buy web hoster. There is a no free web host. That time student, I have, I am a student sir. That time I don't have money. Yeah, okay. Properly, I have completed the website yeah. sir. But so you have the hands-on website ready, get ready. But for posting on Google and all, so you are not having some some financial or the, so funding uh, funding support. That, okay, good. That time we have semester exam also sir. Yeah. But we don't stop the website sir. One side we study. For semester exams, but you are pursuing your graduation. Yeah. And another side, you are interested in your. We uh, don't stop work, sir. Yeah, okay, good. So it sounds interesting, but even you, if you are from not from the technical side and all, yes. so with your interest, you have uh, like uh, you have built a website, you have learned by yourself on. So actually, it sounds very good. Okay, then uh, that's uh, is it. Uh, is that the reason you have came to the uh, IT IT field? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So definitely, uh, your interest, uh, your interest, and uh, so your dedication uh, regarding the project is okay. It's impressive. So it's he is hearing uh, very impressive. Thank you. Sir. Okay. So what are the tools you know about? Uh, in about uh, okay, sir. What are the tools you got uh, know about in uh, in the soft software field? HTML. HTML. So, HTML. Yes. Okay. So your technical skills? Technical skills and technical skills. Python language. Python. Okay. You know our you know about Python language. Yes. Okay. So have not you made any? Uh, Projects or programs regarding the uh, with the help of Python. Uh, Python. Yes, sir. Simple projects. So, so I have taken any co uh, coaching from any institute? Yes, yeah, sir. I take the coaching only MacMiko software solutions. Okay, then good. Okay, then uh, so Karim, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, so okay, uh, your introduction and uh, your self introduction and uh, so your project also seems very good. So you, you look somewhat interested. So can I have you? Can I ask you some questions regarding Python? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Okay, so first of all, uh, Karim, so which year passed you? Are? Recent twenty twenty four sir. Twenty twenty four. Recent past years. Yes, then. So I will go in a easy format questions. Okay. Okay. So as you are not from the IT background, okay. okay. So I will go with some easy questions. So but basics of Python. Okay. okay. So first of all, spell me the definition for Python. Python is a scripting language, sir. Python is an interpreter. Python is easy to use, learn, and write code, sir. Python is a dynamic level language. Python is static also. Static, not dynamic only. Okay. It is standard library, sir. It is a user user platform programming language. It means we can build any type of application with required current tools or libraries. Sir. And that's it, sir. That's okay. So you said that it is uh, it is having dynamic coding. So why Python is of dynamic coding? 
Python will dynamic code because you can change in between of coding, sir. Because it is not static. Yeah. So why it is not static? Why is not static? Because of uh, when static not means we can that is not only no, proper simple answer is it was derived from the scripting language. Yeah. So, so in the scripting language, what is the main functionality of a feature of scripting language? It's static, a dynamic program. Yeah. It's not static uh, program. That's very good. Okay. Uh, why Python is called interpreter programming language? Interpreter it is the scripting language. So that's why interpreter we call it. So, so spell me some uh, justifying answer. Okay, it's correct answer, but it's not. It's a like a statement. Okay. So spell me some uh, explanation for me. Interpreter means uh, code runs line by line, sir. Okay. It suppose we have an error in middle of the code. That time it execute the that time that time also. Partial code execution. Yeah. Okay. So that okay. You are something okay. Uh, I think you are having an answer in your mind, but so because of uh, poor communication skills and all, okay, it's not communication skills. So I can understand what what you trying to express. Okay, so you uh, you are having good technical sense, but you are somewhat lag around the English uh, English communication. Okay, so issues will learn somewhat English communication skills. So okay, uh, yes, yes, So in for scripting language, the execution engine is so interpreter. That's why Python is called interpreter language. So as you said, interpreter means library execution. Whenever the uh, whenever the error error is. There itself the program execution stops. So here is a this is what the explanation we are expecting. Like you said, but it's like a statement. And it's like a uh, what we can. Uh, it was like a one word answer. So we are not impressed with. The, uh, we will. We are not encouraged that one word answers. Okay. So you need some uh, for every answer. You need some explanation for. It. So you, you you can go with the examples too. Okay. okay then Karim. So okay. Then uh, what is an operator? Operator is a between two operators. In this operator, there are seven types. First one is arithmetic operator, assignment operator, relationship operator, bitwise operator, logical operator, and membership operator, and finally identity operator. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Then. So, what is a looping statement? Looping statement. Uh, looping statements. Uh, there are two types, sir. For loop while loop, the loops are iterates. It's a number of times, sir. When the for loop, we, we use certain range, sir. When we have an idea, can we write the for loop? We don't have an idea, we can write while loop, sir. Somewhat concept correct answer. Okay. So, what is the use of a break statement? Use of break statement. It's a jumping statement, sir. The jump statement used to skip or it read the current line of the executor. In this uh, jump statement, there are three types. First one, we can discuss about break statement. Sir. So, okay. Explain me about some break statement. Okay. Okay. Break statement, you can, we can use the certain particular of uh, stop, stop the some statements. Sir. That's the break. When our execution engine sees the break, it will uh -huh. stop the execution of the remaining code, which is written after the break statement. Okay. Good. So, we so, trying to say, uh, spell it correctly. Good. Okay, so have you know any, anything about the so end parameter? Yes, sir. So what is the functionality of end parameter? Forward slash end. Functionality, functionality. End so why end, why, why it was used? It can use the end parameter, sir. Yes. It can suppose we can execute to block uh, code code, sir. Default line break here. The default line break uh, cancel the end parameter. So whenever we are uh, working with the end number of print statements, so default print statements are having some line break. Mm -hmm. so so it will so of yeah okay. It will uh, uh, remove the line, line break which was in the defa as default for the print statement, and it will print the uh, another next line next line of print statement for after the uh, like first line execution. Yeah. Okay. Instead of instead of the console moving to the next line. Okay. So then uh, okay then uh, Karim, so you were spelling good answers. So I will go. I don't uh, stress you more. Okay, uh, like uh, I will go with my last answer, last question. Okay, so then, uh, so how to take input from the users? Not only single input. So what are the functions we need to take uh, to take multiple values from the user using using of input functions? So can you, you can use split functions, sir. Okay. So why split function is used? We can take multiple values. That's why we can use split functions. Sir. In number of values, we can take. We can use split dot so, split. Yes. What uh, what the functionality is making on the input function split functionality? Suppose we required number of uh, input functions. Okay. 
you said right but the main functionality is it is providing some separators okay so whenever we are perform we are providing some values so it is with the help of split function we can uh, add some separators for the multiple values that's what the split function okay so what was your spelling spell is that it, is, it was nearly 60 was enough correct okay good uh like karim okay good uh karim so okay uh you would try to explain uh, what are the questions you are given so what are the questions i have asked you so you try to explain well but uh one thing you are lagging means so your communication you need to uh, you need, uh, definitely you should improve your communication okay so your english speaking skills and uh, the like sentence formation skills okay okay but uh yeah, in respect of that so you can easily uh come over this so definitely so you have spoiled the right answers and definitely you have given a impressive answers okay so so theory but so you are good okay so how good you are you in coding I like coding, sir. Yeah, okay. Uh, out of five, how can you rate yourself in coding? Around three point five four. Around okay, so three point five four. Okay, very it's a very uh, uh, good score, right? So you 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 analyze about yourself. It's a very good. Okay, then uh, uh, can you write me a uh, example looping program? Yes, sir. Okay, sure. Okay, then. Uh, so go ahead. So take your own uh, variables and all. So go with the uh, example looping program. Yes, sir. Good. Karim, uh, like uh, so, you have spelled the right answer for the questions, and you have also good co coding skills also. You have written some uh, some example program like it's somewhat good okay, so it's good okay. Then uh, uh, okay, I was impressed with your performance. So and uh, I was done with my part. So are you having any questions? Yes, sir. I have one question. Yeah, okay. Can you tell me about my performance, sir? Yeah, okay. So Karim, uh, this is what I want to ex uh, talk with you about it. Okay, so you are technically very good. Okay, so you are you you are ready to spell all the answers. Okay, but uh, one thing you are lacking is so your English speaking skills and uh, English uh, sentence formation skills. Okay, you are uh, very poor and okay, okay. I cannot say very poor. So you are trying your level best. So you need to imp uh, improve very more. Okay, I can't say word that you are poor. Okay, you are trying very very good, but uh, so it is not enough. It is not up to the standard. So you need to uh, you need to improve more uh, more about your communication, English speaking skills and English. Uh, actually, so where you are uh, lagging means. So you're writing speaking, but uh, so your sentence formation is not perfect. Okay, so uh, try to come, uh, try on that part of the uh, aspect. So definitely it will uh, help you. So uh, in spite in spite of that, technically you are so. Okay, so you are interesting, uh, impress me well, and uh, the project you are with your own interest, you have built a like a interface for your college and all. So definitely it is impressive. Okay, so uh, you just you are lagging in this uh, come just uh, like a presentation skills, but somewhat uh, lack uh, lack or behind your presentation skills. In spite of it's very good. Okay, so is uh, is it my words are valuable for you? Yeah, sir. Okay, Definitely. good. Uh, so then, uh, any more questions? No, sir. Okay, then Karim. So okay, uh, we'll update you. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you. Sir.